How's it going, y'all? Today we're going to be doing this organized crime mission, which is a prep mission to determine the approach of the finale, whether you're going to be doing it in stealth or aggressive mode. I'll show you guys how to choose this approach later on in this video. For now, let's get started. After the mission starts, Vincent will ask you to drive to the Clucking Bells outlet, where you'll see two cartel vans. They will split up and you have to chase one of them first. Then you want to get close to it and press the right d-pad to hack the vehicle. Once you've hacked one, you want to quickly go to the other vehicle and hack it as well. After you hack both vans, you have the option to kill the gang members inside of the van and you'll be able to loot them to get this clucking bell kind of like mechanic outfit, which Vincent says will improve your stealth capability while doing the next part of the mission. All right now I'm going to explain to you about how to choose the stealth or the aggressive approach. If you want to do a stealth run for the Clucking Bell farm raid, while doing the setup mission called Disorganized Crime, when you enter the cartel's garage, you want to ensure two things. Firstly, you want to ensure that there are no witnesses that are able to escape the garage. The second thing, you need to make sure that you wipe out the CCTV camera footage before exiting the garage. For example here, if you alerted the CCTV or the guards, There'll be a takeout witnesses timer at the bottom right of your screen. You want to ensure that this timer do not run out. Otherwise, you won't be able to do the stealth run unless you join a new session and restart the entire mission. As you can see here, I'm able to take out all the witnesses. And now you have to go to the security room and then just interact with the CCTV to wipe out the records. With these two things done, you are able to do the clocking bell farm raid in stealth mode. Alright, next you just have to sabotage the vehicles by interacting with them. Once you sabotage them all, you just have to go to this locker room where you have to find a way to unlock the lockers. You want to go back outside to the compound right on top of these boxes, there'll be a yellow drill. You can use the drill to unlock the safe and find the key card, which is needed for the finale. You can also drill all the lockers if you want, there'll be just a small amount of money and sometimes there'll be nothing. All you have to do now is just exit the garage. Once outside, you just have to get on a truck that is carrying some clocking bell crates and just bring it back to Vincent. Also something worth noting that you can unlock the straps bandana, which is the tier 3, the clocking bell farm break career progress. If you alerted someone, even though you're running in stealth run, you'll be able to complete the second part, which is complete scene of the crime using stealth. And obviously you need to do it another time while using aggressive mode. However, for the first requirement, you need to complete the scene of the crime without being spotted at all.